Welcome back to Rosa Bakes. This is Rosa. And today I'm going to make a warm pear cake with walnut caramel topping. So I've got everything set up before I've gotten started. I've already taken my springform pan, buttered it and floured it. I have my flour ingredients set aside. I've sifted my flour ingredients, that is the flour, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and the baking soda, salt as well. We're all sifted together, of course, the flour. And here I have my um, brown sugar inside the bowl. What I'm going to put in is the, is the eggs and the warm and the uh, melted butter. So I just wanna make sure that I've got the sequence right. So in the large bowl, an electric mixer, I'm gonna beat in to get a three quarter cup of brown sugar, the five tablespoons of melted butter, the eggs, and the nectar that I've already blended. So the pear that I'm going to put in here is pears that I had in the fridge that I wanted to use. They were getting old and I hate to waste. If you've watched this channel before, or gotten through the through some of the other bakes that I've done, you know that I don't like to waste things. So, and I like to use everything up. So I've had some some pears that were sitting in the fridge. My father has a pear tree, so um, those pears needed to be made. They weren't really good to be eaten, so I decided to make this warm pear cake. So I've already melted the butter and I'm putting it into the electric mixer. I'm also gonna take the nectar. I've crushed the pear nectar, some of them, and I'm going to put that in. And last but not least will be the eggs. And I also like to. So on my last, uh, uh, clean out these bowls. On my last, uh, bake. I made the Italian cake and it came out very well. That is my mother's recipe. This one is William Sonoma, so you can check out the William Sonoma cookbooks. I have a few, and this is my cake one. And then the eggs. So I'm going to take those eggs, place them in there. And I'm using two large eggs. And I imagine if you're a baker, you're always using large eggs. So we're gonna mix this all together. Then we'll add in the flour. And after the flour, we're gonna toss in the cubes. So I have some cubed pears as well. So I'm gonna put that in, in as well. Once I mix everything together, that goes into the springform pan and then put into the oven for baking. The caramel top will happen after the cake comes out where I'll take the remaining brown sugar, milk, and the, um, I believe there's more butter, mix that in a saucepan and place it on top. It really does come out really nicely. And it's, it's a great cake. I think. I've made this a few times. I've had some old pears laying around. These are the last bit of pears that I wanted to use up and I'm going to use them here. I'm going to put this in a little bit higher speed. We'll get that all mixed up. flour. This was all sifted in together with the baking soda. And put this in. Now, like I said before, I did mess up on the 
carrot cake, the sugar, the um, sugar-free carrot cake that Mary Berry had um, her her recipe. I am going to make that again, and I'm going to do it with the self, not with self-rising flour, but I'm going to make regular flour and make it into self-rising flour and try that one more time. This is looking good. I'm going to put it a little bit higher, nice and smooth. I love KitchenAid mix and chance to do anything. I could go off and start cleaning stuff around. I'll be right back. So this is not a cake for any occasion, not for Christmas, not for birthdays, not for anniversaries. Um, the torta italiana was for my mom, her birthday. This one is just, I want to use up pears. <laughs> In old pears that I want to get get rid of in the in the in the fridge and I thought this was this is the best way to do it. I've made this about two or three times already so this is one that I'm making here for you. At the time when I made it before I did not have a KitchenAid mixer and was using a hand mixer which is just as fine. This was my little Christmas gift to myself. Now that this is all mixed in nice and smooth I'm going to add in my cubed pears and place it into that spring form pan and then bake it until a toothpick comes out nice and clean. So I will be back with my warm pear cake and then we'll go into the topping from the stove, from the saucepan. So I'll be right back with that. I like to get into my pears and get that all in there. And I'll head and fold that in. Well, this is Rosa Bakes. I'll be right back with my warm pear cake. 